Hey everybody, it's your girl Barbie J here and I just want to let y'all know this next video that I did for Tyler Perry's The Have and The Have Nots, I did it something different and went step by step as they showed it. I just recorded, I just recorded, I paused, record during a commercial and that's how I went through with it. So in case it seems strange that I don't know what's about to happen and the way I'm talking is because I'm going along with it. So enjoy this recap and I just want y'all to know it was a pleasure doing this uh, Tyler Perry show along with you guys thank you to everybody who held down my channel and in the comment section throughout the all these seasons these eight seasons I appreciate all of you it's been a pleasure I love you shout out to you all and again if you have not subscribed to my channel as of yet please do it now it should be right here, the little subscribe button. All right? So let's jump right in. Hey, it's your girl, Barbie J here. And we are talking about the final episode of Tyler Perry's The Haves and The Haves Not. What is that? Season 8, Episode 17, Dark Intentions. So let us see how this is going to end. And before I start this recap, I would like for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel to please subscribe now. Hit the little notification bell, like, comment, and let's get this conversation going. But it's the last episode. We don't know what's going to happen. All right. So I'm going to give y'all blow by blow this last episode. So we got uh, Wyatt in cardiac arrest. The ambulance finally showed up. Let's see what happens. But you know Jim is getting on my last damn nerve. Well, the ambulance, do, do, do. He's trying to get in between them while they're trying to work on the boy. It's like, back up, Jim. Just back up. Well, Wyatt is gone. He's dead. Everybody said Jim done drove off. That was real quick. They didn't do anything. It seemed like they would have tried a little bit more, but I guess he took all those pills. That's what it is, you know? But anyway, so now, what is this whole thing with Wyatt asking, uh, Jim driving off and everything, and David's like, let him. But I don't know why. I know he's upset, but your son had a drug problem, and you were aiding it. Jim was partially responsible, letting him get away with it, instead of doing what his mother said when she said, let him be arrested, put him in a, a cell, whatever it is, all of that. But they didn't. he didn't listen. But why all of a sudden... Why? I mean, not why. Uh, Madison needs to go to his car, and Jeffrey tells him it's quicker through the back door. We ain't never heard about a back door before, so I don't know. It's just something that just made me go, hmm, what's that all about? Why didn't you just let him walk around, or how, however he's been doing it, you know? Anyway, now let's see what's going on with Veronica. So Veronica gives this guy the money. And I'm just like, she has to be suspicious in some kind of way, you know. And he's so foolish, he's going to tell her she ought to be careful. She got all these frenemies and stuff. And and, and she's like, like who? Jim Cryer. All these people. She said, well, Jim Cryer's not all these people. Like who? She kept saying, like who? Oh, I got ears. I hear things and stuff. So why he didn't offer to kill and take them out for her? If he hears these things, why he didn't offer it? But then the foolish man, do he not think she got cameras? Don't he know she had cameras? She run, He runs across and jumps in the car with the other guy. Shouldn't he have his own car? I'm confused as to she's not seeing how he pulled up. But you saw Veronica's eyes. She's like, hmm, what's going on with this fool right here? What's he talking about? So now they're going to what? What are they going to do now? Now he's waiting for her to come out. So they could kill him. I don't know if the other girl is still there. I don't think Laura was still there. So that's that part. Now let's see. Now we know that Hannah's okay. Thank God. We knew that was going to happen. And now she's thinking it was Jim Cry. But then, you know, the, uh, Benny and Candace are like, nah, he's like, this one's on me, ma. She's like, she thinking it's Jim because he want his money. And it's not Jim this time. It's not Jim this time. She's like, y'all trying to kill another child? What is wrong with y'all? What did you do this time, Benny? I'm sorry. She called him Benjamin. You know when your parents call you by your full damn name? 
they pissed at you, okay? Oh, Hannah, like you full of shit. Okay, here you go. And you can't keep your dick in your pants. <laughs> okay, a mother is mad right now. You got this girl up in here. She probably we could have been killed because of you. Oh, my goodness. Here the cops come to the house. What they come to the house for? And then say they're going to take a statement and then walk out. Not even that. Hannah, your house just got shot up. And you talking about, I got somewhere to go, I'm leaving, y'all handle it. Because as soon as Jake, the cops came in, you know what happened? He knows who did it. She about to get that man killed. You can't tell the cops that a, a Malone did this. <laughs> she, she, she's like, they, he said, I don't know nobody. I don't know nothing. I don't know who did what. I said, I know that's right, Benny. I don't know Jack Diddley Squad. She said, no, now he don't know nothing and all this stuff. Uh, Y'all handle this. I got to go. He, he's like, what? He said, I'll be right back. She's like, I'll be gone. He's like, wait, we going to need a statement. Was they here? They wasn't here, but he know who did it. Y'all talk to him. No. Hannah, this broken glass supposed to be all in your damn apartment. How are you getting up going anywhere other than to clean that up? Okay? And then... <laughs> She's like, <laughs> he's talking to the girl. Biddy talking to the girl. I don't know you. I don't know you. Homegirl broke it down. What club? How long ago? What went down? He said, oh, shoot. She said, she's an attorney. They, 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 I'm an attorney. I make six figures. My girlfriends dared me to kiss you. I kissed you. He said, oh, and we ended up in the bathroom stall, in the female bathroom stall like that. He remembered. She said, I don't want nothing from you. I don't need, I thought you should know. Because he's like, no, nah, you want money. That's it. I just came up, and now you want some money. Ain't nobody know you just came up. You came up. You going to blow through that million dollars in no time, Benny. Because that's how you used to be spending. No, he has been trying to be frugal with the hotels and stuff with, that him and Candace been staying in. So I got to give him that. But he's like, he do look like, you know, Candace is like, that boy look like you. She got all the proof in the world. <laughs> but anyway... Candace is like leaving. She going to go see Mitch and all this stuff. And he's like, no, wait for me. You ain't tough. She said, they won't hurt me. They won't hurt me. But she don't know now. Now she don't know what's going down. So Candace beware. And then what else? Oh, she asks Benny, he want to hold the, the baby. And he holding the baby. He said, hey, it's daddy. I said, oh, he caught himself. He's like, oh, shit. And the girl even looked at him like, what? She's like, but she's like, I'm an attorney, make six figure, don't need jack from you. Just thought you ought to know. And that's really nice and thoughtful of her, wasn't it? Anyway, but then Candace Lee, and she's sitting out on the steps, and Hannah comes out there, and, and y'all are never going to learn and all this stuff. And I'm sitting there going, uh, Hannah, you got broken glass all up in your damn house. Why are you sitting on the steps talking to Candace? When Candace said, I did learn, Mama. Okay, I know. She's asking Candace, you know, this is the life you want to live? Why can't you live? And she's like, I don't want to live this life. I want to do better. You know, they had their little mother and daughter heart to heart little thing going on. You know how they are. So, <clears throat> we'll see what happens with that. But, did y'all see? I'm like, they're on the steps. They're talking the heart to heart. Candace is saying she doesn't want to live this life. Her mother says she's choosing this life. You know, you're not going to stop until somebody gets killed or they kill all of us. And she's like, I want to do better. I want to get away. You know, she, she wants to leave. She don't want to continue doing this. She says she can't give him the money back. And the mother's like, why? She said, I just can't. It's a lot of money, and it's my last chance to get away. You know, she, she does want to get away, and she would have been gone if stupid uh, Landon then put her on that no-fly list. She would have been gone and away from all of this stuff. But it is a lot of money, and the mother's reminding her it's not her money. You know, Hannah's like, it's not your money. She said, I know, but I can't. Mom, I'm not like you. You know, this is what works for me. This is who I am. You know, I'm like, oh, man. They was having a heart-to-heart -heart without even arguing. And then she asked the mother not to, you know, not 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 judge, but no insults. And she's like, no, I'm not going to insult you. She said, go do what you got to do. And Candace got up and left. And Hannah's talking to God, talking about, you know, Lord, help us. Help us all. You know, and I, I, I know that's right because Candace going to need that help. Because she don't know what she's about to walk into. So here we got 
Catherine calling Marty. She about so done with Marty. She been in prison so long. And she thinking now that he, uh, <laughs> that he working with Jim. Because she's like, do you know they got somebody? They put this bitch in the cell with me? I mean, she's like real loud. I mean, it seemed like the cells are right there that they can hear. And she's like, get me out of that. Well, that's not supposed to be. I'm working on it. He always working on it. That's that's Marty's own line. His, that's the one line Tyler gave him. I'm working on it. He, he working on it. He's like, no. She's like, you better get her out of my cell. So now he's like, I'm on my way down there. So she's like, you better be. Get me out of here. <laughs> I don't blame her. But then she calls Hannah. And Hannah's sitting on the stoop still. You know, because the police officer finally came over to get a... a uh, uh, what is it called? <laughs> oh Lord! He finally come over to talk to her to see what what happened with this shootout, and she's telling um, she finally tells uh Catherine what's going on, and she tells him, but I'm sorry, your living room got shot up. She's like, oh girl, are you okay? Are you fine? That's one thing I like about Catherine. Catherine always worry about her. She don't worry about stuff. It don't matter. She said, Jim is crazy. She said, wasn't Jim this time? Supposedly, Benny was messing around with some some man's woman, some guy's woman, and now they mad and they shooting up the place. She's like, well, you better be careful. I was like, Lord Jesus, what is going on in Tyler Perry land? <laughs> the has and have not. So anyway, she got to go over there to Jim. She's still asking about Wyatt. Catherine's asking about Wyatt. Nobody knows what's going on but Jim. So I'm scared because when Hannah gets there, Jim might be in some kind of funky mood that he tried to hurt her real bad because you just lost your child. I was with a friend who lost her father and she went off on somebody who messed with her. And they didn't even mess with her. They messed with somebody else and she bust that chick up. So he's angry right now. So Hannah got to be careful and I hope she prayed up, honey. Hannah be prayed up. And so, what else? There was something else that happened in that, you know. Um, well, oh, it was something about Jim and Hannah. Um, yeah, Catherine talking about, where's Catherine say? The, oh, the paper's on the nightstand. How are your papers on the nightstand? That didn't even make any sense. You've been in prison at least a month now, right? How long has she been in prison? And she's like, I need those papers. Uh, Kat, Hannah been in there cleaning up and everything is straightening out and Jim's been in the house why Catherine would you think whatever papers Hannah needs are still on a nightstand hello when she got arrested that whole place had been cleared out since then okay so that's a slip up that's a slip up in the uh, in the script I can tell you that much now y'all tell me Tell me how Sandy bust in that door like that. Sandy gonna just bust in the door. He find out where she live. And that's probably, he might have trailed Benny. Who knows? That's what I was saying. This is so ridiculous. He finds her. He gonna give her a little back smack and all this stuff. You have to break the door down. It didn't, he didn't pick the lock. I don't know how he supposedly got in her apartment. And then he's like, call him. Call him and she's like he don't know me like that and all this stuff meanwhile she she calls Benny and he gonna answer the phone to my you miss me already what the hell you supposed to be there with your new son and his baby mama that's who you supposed to be with and she's telling him I'm at your new house he would have known it was a trap he would have known it's a trap she trying to defend him I believe she's trying to look out for Benny but I also believe she doesn't want Sandy to do that as well you know, it's just like, that's why she's trying to get out of it. I'm going to call the police. You think the police going to protect you? You know, it's like, why does she have to keep moving? That's harassment. I don't care who your family is. That shouldn't be allowed. People don't want to, thank God she aborted that baby. She's been stuck with that man forever and ever and ever and ever. Lord Jesus. And now he should realize something. Why is she at my house? I'm at your house. He found me. I'm at your house. Why would he be at your house? So that part didn't make much sense to me as well. Okay, how they gonna have Catherine all of a sudden now she calling for a phone call when she just made a phone call and Hannah told her, be careful. And now she's asking for another phone call. Like who else she gonna call other than Marty 
and Hannah. So that, that scene was kind of weird, but then they made it so easy for her. Like, Catherine didn't even fight back, and that girl was just beating her butt, and everybody just stood around, and they gonna let Hannah get killed just like that? Come on, Tyler. I'm not liking the way this is going down. And then they show somebody walking out the house, and it looked like Veronica's walk. That girl, Laurel, does not walk like, uh, like Veronica. So that looked like Veronica walking out there. That's her walk. But Laurel is not still in that house. And they just shot her. And ran. I mean, what kind of neighborhood do they live in? With a drive-by, she could get shot and the neighbors don't say nothing. I guess they don't have their neighbors around. They did that drive-by at Hannah's and nobody else is on the street. I'm just like, what the heck is going on? Prison? Is prison like that? Usually the people get excited when somebody's getting killed. Yeah, 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 when there's a fight or something. There wasn't no activity. Everybody just quiet while she's getting choked out. I'm just, I'm confused. <laughs> And now here's Candace showing up at the bar. Mitch is like, what are you doing here? I know. Oh my God, what the hell is going on in this episode? Oh my God, oh my God. This is crazy right now, okay? This is crazy. We got Catherine getting choked up and stuff in the cell. Nobody's saying nothing. We got... Uh, Candace going down there to talk to Mitch and not seeing if Mitch's face is jacked up and he's telling you to get the hell out of there, Candace. Why you ain't get the hell out of there? Why you still standing there talking to him? I'm trying to talk to Mitch. Mama Rose this. They almost killed my brother. They, I mean, they, they, they went after my brother. They almost killed my mother. All of this stuff. And then you trying to be tough because he said it's a, and he said, then he said it's a new day now. They know Mama Rose no more. And he kept telling her, go, go. She wouldn't go. Now what happened? Vinny goes, you know what? Yeah, she gonna go, but she not gonna go on her own. Basically, now he they got these two thugs to drag her out, about to drag her out. And he said, it told Vinny, Vinny's yelling, no, Vin, I mean, Mitch is yelling, no, don't do it, don't do it. And he said, get up. And I, you lose your legs. And he get up and start fighting Vinny, which he could have. But those other goons jumped in and they start kicking his butt. Candace breaks loose from the two guys, jump on their back. What you doing? You ain't got no knife or nothing. You beating him and stuff. And then they dragging her out after they kicked in Vinny's ass. If Vinny said, go, Candace, you should have just left and bounced. You shouldn't be in here. Vinny ain't going to lie. I mean, Vinny, oh, Lord, I keep saying Vinny. I'm sorry. Mitch is not going to lie to you. Mitch said, go, go. Go! How many times did he tell her to leave? And now they dragging her out, so she gonna get her ass beat, and and and, and Vinny, uh, Vin, uh, Mitch gonna get killed. All these people can get killed in in one night. And now, Vinny just got shot up by them guys. He coming out there. Come on, common sense. What you doing at my house? Why are you at my house at night? She said, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry." You know he didn't come by himself before. You know he rolls with a bunch of dudes. Let's handle this man by man. Uh, man, man. Come on, Penny. This is just like... Tyler, I don't like the way this is ending. The script, how it ended. It doesn't make sense. Because these people... You know, Candace got street smart. She knows when something's up. Vinny would I mean, Mitch wouldn't have had to tell her so many times to leave. And, well, Benny, Benny's, Benny ain't as smart as her. So, I guess Benny would. And now, what's going on next? Hi, Jeffrey, that damn dumb. Oh, my God. Why would you let him, with all you going through right now, why would you let Tana in your house? Why would you let Tana in your house? When you, you, you kept going out there meeting him. Y'all think something's wrong. You don't let people see where you live and what you got and stuff. And then you go and get a tape, accept a box you said you didn't want it. Then you accept it anyway. Come on. I knew that. I knew it. If you, your spidey sense is telling you not to trust somebody, you don't take a gift from them. I would have had him open it while he was standing there. What is it? You want me to open it now? Yeah, come on now. You ain't even wait for him to get down the driveway. 
Now you, Madison, everybody's supposed to be blown up. It's that damn easy? Come on. I can't take this episode, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm looking forward to the reunion. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This was crazy, okay? This was crazy that all of them got killed in the same night. This is crazy, okay? He had them. How all of a sudden is Sandy there to deliver Candace to Jim Cryer. That was some ridiculousness right there. Sandy was supposed to be, unless he got back so quick to the iron bone or whatever that is, you know. But for him to drop her off, and I knew Hannah was going to come, and he put her in a tub, and with one arm, he was able to hold her down in that water with one arm? I don't know. I didn't see anybody. Well, the other guy was in the bathroom, but only for a minute. So I don't know how that happened. It seemed like Candace should have been able to, when she turned on her back, to push herself up and keep pushing herself up out of the tub. I'm just saying, you know, so he held her down, killed her, and then what? I knew when Hannah came up there she was going to go crazy, but I thought he was going to push her out the damn window. And Candace was begging for forgiveness and I'll give you your money and all of this stuff. I'm just like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, something ain't right. Y'all gotta let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this. But I knew, I knew good and well Hannah had to be the one person who lived. Hannah had to be the person who lived. And she lost it. Did y'all see that last scene when she was holding her face? <laughs> she was holding on to that steel wheel. The devil jumped in her and I ain't care. I wouldn't have cared either. She ran his ass over ran him over blood splattered on the windshield but see i would have turned around and did it one more time one more again just because there was some blood there when people get hit by a car don't mean they dead she's like you never touch my kids again die die and it's just like oh my god i can't believe everybody died everybody died come on who's left alive who's left alive we don't know that jim is dead okay hannah's around Benny's daughter, whatever. That girl, who knows if she's still around. They probably killed her. He probably mad. You know, Sandy's girl from Rihanna's probably dead. Who else was left from the cast that should be still alive? That's it. That's it. So they ain't no coming back from this. They ain't no coming back from none of this. I was not crazy about this ending. I was not crazy about this episode. I wish it would have built, built up more. Some of the stuff that they did was silly or stupid or whatever I felt, you know. But, you know, Vinny did say one hand washed the other. That um, they delivered her to Jim Cryer and stuff because of the um, how they got him, their family members off on court. Out of, you know, things when, when they got in trouble and came before them in the, in the jury, in the trial, whatever. In the courtroom, I'm sorry. But this, this all of this is, this, I don't know. Y'all hurry up and let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. But now we got to look forward to the reunion next week, part one. And then the week after that is going to be part two. And they're going to come down in their finest. So I'm looking forward to doing the reunion recap. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Bobby J has enjoyed recapping this show for you guys and doing the reviews. And I hope I see you tomorrow with sisters and and also the oval is coming back tyler perry's oval is coming back so let's see what's going to happen there this your girl barbie j saying peace and see you in the next video bye